Hello there. I've been in the Christmas mood today and I've done some Christmassy nails. It's the typical red, green and white design. That's the design on my thumbnail. Very pretty, very easy to do, water marble. And I've got a nail here prepared. I've used white. I always use white in my water marbles just to make the colours pop. And I've got tape on there as well, masking tape. So that's all prepared, ready for dunking in the water. So I've got my water here. This is a standard glass, standard beaker glass with some filtered water. Water that I've used from my Brita water filter in the fridge. So I've left that to stand for about an hour. So that's now room temperature. Ideal temperature for water marbles. And the colours I've got today. The red one I've got is by OPI. And that is called Tasmanian Dab Devil Made Me Do It. And the white, like I said, I've got the same white by Barry M. It's called Matte White. And the green I've got is by OPI again. And that one is called Jade is the New Black. So I've got all those already. And like I said, this is my water. So I'm going to start dropping the colours into the water. Green there, and the white, and the red. Got some newspaper down just in case of any spills. So I could do a couple of rings. You will get a few bubbles, unfortunately. You can't do anything about that. Give that a little bit of a shake. That's coming along nicely. Lovely Christmassy colours. Right, am I going to put another one in there? Just give it a little shake. Sometimes the colours need a little bit of a encouragement to go. Red one in there. Okay, so I've got standard needle here, sewing needle. So I'm gonna start making a design in the water. I need to Anchor that to the side a bit because it's moving a little bit there. A couple of drags in the water. That should be okay. I'll use that one. Get my nail, put the nail in very carefully. What I do is just leave that there for a few seconds. 
So you've got to let the nail polish there dry on the water. What I also do is just blow on the water just to speed up the drying process. Then with a the cotton bud, carefully pick up all the excess nail polish. Make sure you've got it all up because you don't want it spoiling the design. And very carefully and slowly pull your nail out the water. And that's the finished design on my nail. Got an old pair of tweezers here, so I'm just going to take off the masking tape carefully as well. That's the finished design on my nail. What I'll do later on is take all that off just to the side there with some acetone and a cotton bud just to clean up the edges. But that's the finished look. Nice and pretty Christmas nails. Thank you all for watching. See you again soon.